What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 free Cydia tweaks for iOS 7 in Cydia right now. Now these tweaks are going to work for the iPhone 5S, because that is actually what I'm using in this video as you can see, as well as the iPhone 5, iPhone 4, 4S, iPod 4th Gen, and 5th Gen. Now these are the tweaks that I haven't covered on my channel. If you want more free tweaks, then go ahead and check out the channel. There is a ton of content for you guys to watch and discover new tweaks. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first tweak I wanna show you is called Unlock Sound 7. Now this is gonna be for all you iOS 6 enthusiasts because this is going to give you that unlock sound when you unlock your device. So let's go ahead and turn the volume on here and you can see it gives you just that nice little crisp unlock sound that you're used to and it, they got rid of it in iOS 7 so this is going to give it back to you now this is going to work with all your devices so if you just slide to unlock rather than using the touch ID like I just did then it's still going to work so go ahead and check it out next up is fave so what you want to do is once you download it go into your settings here and we're going to scroll down here to fave and then all you have to do is enable it and then select your favorite application so let's just say that our favorite application here is, uh, let's say it's Flux. All right, so now all you have to do to activate this and get into your favorite application is swipe left on the springboard, as you can see right there. And it's going to open right up just like that. So it's actually a pretty cool tweak. You can set this to whatever application that you have on your device. So let's just do one more. Let's say we want it to be the compass. And it's going to give you that nice little icon right there as well as the UI background for that uh, particular application. So a pretty cool tweak. All right, so next up we have Blord. Now what Blord does is give you a black keyboard system wide. So it doesn't matter what application you're in. If we open up Safari, you can see you have a black keyboard. Also, if we jump into, let's just say my notes here and we'll make a new one, you can see there is a black keyboard right there. So in my opinion, it just, it fits my theming a whole lot better than the gray uh, keyboard that comes with iOS 7. So definitely check this out if it's something you're into. Next up here, we have status modifier. Now this is a really cool tweak and I've been getting a ton of comments about this. So I'm sticking it in here because I haven't reviewed it just yet, but you can see right here at the top of my uh, device in the status bar, I have the time as well as the seconds to the time and the free memory that I have on the device. So that's obviously automatically changing in real time. So all you have to do is download status modifier and then you can get the seconds on your clock as well as the free memory on your device at that time. Up next we have a tweak called side delete. Now this is an older tweak but it was just updated for iOS 7 and you can see what it allows you to do. Usually you'll have to go into Cydia to delete applications that you download from Cydia but now you don't have to do that as you can see flux is downloaded from Cydia but if I just toggle this on you can see if I tap on this I can uninstall it just by hitting that X and deleting it now I don't really necessarily want to uninstall flux is probably one of my favorite tweaks uh, but you can do this with all the tweaks or apps that you've downloaded from Cydia as you can see right there I can delete iCleaner as well so a really nifty tweak if you don't like going into Cydia and uninstalling all your apps. You can just delete them straight from your springboard and it's going to uninstall them. Here's another really awesome tweak. It's called iTunes Radio Unlimited. And what it does is allow you to play all the music that you want to. This is probably your guys' favorite song right here, Believe by Justin Bieber. But you, can got, you guys can uh, play the song and skip as many times as you want no restrictions so it's just like Pandora skips except you're able to do this with uh, iTunes radio so really nice works really well had no issues with it definitely recommend alright so next up we have a tweak called spectral now what this tweak does is blur out the lock screen when you're playing music so it's going to uh, have that album art cover on the foreground and then in the background is going to be all blurred out so it actually looks really good now to show you let's go ahead and jump into uh, music here and we'll go to the lock screen real quick and you can see the background is blurred out now and it actually looks really good in my opinion so to show you kinda I mean it matches really well especially with this album art cover but if we uh, go to another album and I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty pretty close to the exact same thing. It does have uh, somewhat of a different uh, tint to it depending on the album art cover. So if we start playing this one, 
and then unlock. You can see it's a little bit brighter and you can actually see some of the color up here at the very top, but still it looks better than the original, which is just uh, the, the album art cover right there on top of the background. So I think this looks really good and I'm definitely a fan. All right, next up we have CCD separator. So you can see if I swipe up on my control center, there are no longer separators in between the music controls right here or the airdrop down there. And it just looks a whole lot cleaner. Now the next tweak I wanna show you is going to be able to hide certain sections of your control center and that's called CC hide. So if we jump into the settings here and tap on CC hide, here are all the sections that you can either enable or you can hide. So you can hide the settings, the brightness, the media controls section, airdrop, quick launch, all that good stuff. You can also have a conditional toggle turned on right here. That means if the uh, music controls aren't being used, so if there's no music playing, then it's not even going to show up. So here are some. Let's go ahead and toggle that off so you can see you don't have the toggles up there at the top. You can turn off the brightness, which I don't know why anybody would want to do that. It's where I turn up my brightness, as well as the media control section, which I don't usually use. I don't ever go to the uh, control center to turn on or go to the next or manage my music as I'm listening to it. I usually just use the headphones to go to the next, pause, play, all that good stuff. So definitely a really cool tweak, and it really uh, minimizes what your control center looks like, and I think it just looks really good like this. All right, and lastly, I'm going to show you Tiny Bar. Now, what this tweak does is give you a tiny bar up here for a banner notification. It's only going to take up the space of your status bar. So when you get a notification, then you'll see exactly what it does. I'm going to send myself a text message here and X out real quick, and it should pop up right here up at the top. So you can see just a tiny banner notification. And if you send a bunch of stuff, let's go ahead and... Uh, send something really long, you're going to see that it actually scrolls through the text up here at the top. You can see it scrolling. So actually a really cool tweak and it's free so you might as well grab it. So let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.